In this video, we're going to focus on the overlapping bar chart here, which is a quite interesting type of bar chart because the bars are overlapping on each other, but one is thicker than the other. So we're going to work on this and figure out how we can control the overlapping effect, which one gets priority and which one will be at the back. And of course, we're going to focus on the thickness. How can we control the thickness of the bar, making sure that one will be thinner than the other? In this video, we're going to focus on how to create an overlapping bar chart in Chart.js. So, to start with, we're going to go to Chart.js3.com, getting started. And in here, you might notice this, for some reason my Google Chrome gives this error. But anyway, what we need is the default code. So I'm going to grab here the default code and copy this. And once I copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this specific video here that explains the JavaScript of it. So then what I want to do here is I'm going to paste this in here. And once I paste that, cut out the title here, put it in there, and then save this and then refresh. There we are. So to have an overlapping bar chart, we need to have a second data set. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just add up a new data set. So add one more, copy this, comma and paste. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this here have the red data set here and I'll just uh, leave that one here and then we have another one in here I'll just make that the blue one paste it in here and paste that in here as well I can just make this solid for now so if I save this I'll say here this is the blue sales this will be the red sales and here I'm going to just give it some other numbers uh, then a bit lower and then later on you can see the differences of these and here three and this one seven all right so if i save this now refresh you can see here we have these nice two lines here so what i want to do next is eventually start to overlap them on top of each other so to do that luckily it's a quite straightforward process we can say you have x in the scales we put in the x-axis and then in here we can say stack equals true and we only do it for this one the y we do not want to activate or else it will be a stack bar so i don't want the stack bar i just want it stack on each other so like overlapping effects if i refresh now we have an overlapping effect except there's one thing and maybe you might see it here and you can see if i move over it it recognizes it however what i want to do now is i want to narrow down the blue line here or the blue bar let's narrow this so the red bar will be clearly visible so what we're going to do in here, basically here the blue one is here. So we need to narrow down the blue one, I guess. We put a comma here, and then we say here the following. We're going to say category, and then percentage, indicating the width, basically on here, how big it is. By default, it is 0 0.8, meaning that this bar here is 80% of this here. So what I want to do is I want this blue bar to be only 50%. So we say here 0 0.5 and if I do this and save this and refresh you can see here now the blue bar clearly shows here. So this is absolutely phenomenal it's another way to create a bar showing it in a different perspective. So of course this is just only this and there is still something else that I want to focus on is the order. So maybe we have this but maybe you have this exactly the opposite. So let's change this and put in here this one and then put a comma here and then if i save this refresh all right so now we have this here and as you can see here we don't like this but i'm i move this on purpose because maybe you have these two and you don't want to switch the data sets for this so what we can do is control what we call the timing of drawing meaning what will overlap on the other or which one gets more priority the one that gets the highest or the the lowest value will be on top and the one with the highest value will be the least prioritized meaning that it will be ready at the back so let's put in here comma and then what we want to do the red sales should have basically a uh, should be at the back meaning that the priority is low and to have that we need to give it a high value so what we're going to say here order and this order will be number one then this blue sales put a comma here order will be zero for 
highest priority because it's the most important one so it will be first in line. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here now the order structure changes. Well, the order structure for one or two bars doesn't matter much, but maybe you have a third one. You can imagine in that case, these orders become essential. And this is basically how you can do it. And maybe if you see this here, you don't enjoy this. There's of course a lot of tricks that we can use with the tooltip. So if you want to understand how to use more things with the tooltip, for example, you want to show these two values at the same time when you hover over the bar here. In that case, I highly recommend you to check out this specific information here or this specific video about how to add more information in the tooltips, which will learn, teach you everything about the tooltip that you should know.